how you doing everybody I want to talk about astral projection and some of the possible experiences that you can have now when you first get out of body and I said this you're definitely going to want to keep it short until you get familiar with the out of body experience and you've trained your memory okay but one now I, I used to get out and I would I, I would do this I would keep them real short maybe five to ten minutes you know for every experience and I would be so excited that I'm having the experience that I definitely wanted to keep it short you know and at the time this is a real positive thing you know you get back and you remember it all you know in good detail after you've traveled uh, a few times now my experiences at first even though they were short uh, there, there weren't, there wasn't a lot of clarity, you know, and uh, I found the reason to this was that now after you've trained your memory and you've traveled a few times, you're going to want to get out of body, move away from your body as fast as you can, okay, ask for clarity, and give yourself a few minutes to just adjust, because you're going into dimensions that, that are all at a different frequency and you're not used to this and your energy body gets out and it's hard to see at first, it's hard to hear you know you can't move good you, you've got to get away from your body and give your energy time to adjust to the dimension that you are perceiving at the time you know and it takes a, a few minutes to adjust now I found that once I trained my memory, you know, I would stay out longer and longer, and the longer I stayed out, you know, I would have uh, good experiences, you know, you got to give maybe five or ten minutes to just calm down, don't try to take off, you know, ask for clarity, maybe look at your hands, give yourself time to adjust to your visions there and good, and then you're ready to move around, but even still, when I say stay out longer, you know, I'm talking about like from five to ten minutes at first to twenty or thirty minutes you know and then you want to progressively go you know a little farther a little farther you know um, I want to talk about a couple of other things too uh, I, I read on, on the website uh, a guy had experience about um, a hitchhiker or, or a being uh, wrapped around him or, or clinging to him and I've had this experience twice. <coughs> it's an odd experience. It really is. Uh, it kind of freaks you out. Uh, I'm gonna try to try to go over it in my head. You know, um, I've got it written down. But I remember I, I come out of body, and I'm in the real time zone, and it, it's my bedroom, and I float up kind of by like the closet door, and I come down, and my balance is kind of off. You know. And I and I just I feel I feel different. You know, I feel like I'm constricted, right? And I look like over my left shoulder, and there's this humanoid being with large uh, dark eyes, you know, and, and had like dark hair, and it was clinging to me with just its arms like wrapped all the way around me. And uh, to say the least, you know, it kind of freaked me out. You know, I'm like, what the heck is this thing you know and uh, I remember getting out and uh, eventually I, I somehow I flung the thing like like off of me uh, I've had I had several experiences you know I'm trying to go over it but I flung the thing off of me and when I I, I got a perception of the thing uh, afterwards and this is a different experience from that experience uh, like I said I've had several it's hard to remember off top but one time I had thrown a thing off me and when I looked at it it looked like me right and I was like what but it just kinda it looked kinda zombified you know like it, it, it wasn't thinking or moving too much you know it wasn't like responding or, or, or acting to me after that it just kinda huddled down and just kinda stayed there and I don't know what this is, you know, I, I think that uh, people report seeing, uh, you know, the doppelganger or, or themselves, you know, and they always say it's kind of kind of zombified, I mean, I don't know, but, uh, you know, it, personally, I think it could just be uh, our perception, you know, uh, you know, we're used to looking at ourselves in the mirror, and you, your subconscious is going to search when you're out of body, and, and 
trying to figure things out and put faces on things. And the most common face to you would be your face, you know. But um, there's different places you could end up when going out into the astral. And I want to talk about some of them. Now, if you take a laid back approach, like uh, climbing of the rope, you know, or, or gently floating out, your your energy is going to come out slow, you know, it's not vibrating fast and you're going to be denser so when you take a laid back easy approach you're going to come out more than likely in the real time zone so you're going to perceive your bedroom, you know, coming out over your body or something and sometimes you'll see your body and feel a tug, sometimes I've, I've gotten out before and looked at the bed and my body's not in the bed, you know and I'm just like, what the heck, where am I, you know? <coughs> but, um, there's also these other, these other levels that are like, uh, the real time zone. And, uh, I, I've been in them too, you know, and they completely resemble, uh, waking reality. You know, it's like, it's even clearer, clearer than re waking reality. You know, your perception, you, you can see, it's like, you got a whole panoramic view with just vibrant, beautiful colors, you know, that you can't perceive with your eyes, you know. But the real time zone is, is co-created by all of us and all of our thoughts. Let's say, uh, like my house, you know, the inside of my house and what it looks like is created by my knowledge of that, you know, being here and then, you know, my family being here and perceiving it as well and then your house the same thing in the block that you live on in your town you're used to going here to this location and that location this is why we can get out in the real time zone and go from you know point A to point B even though we hadn't been here before you know and there's going to be differences sometimes um, you know it, 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 there's some things you don't know or somebody hadn't thought too much on maybe but uh, your subconscious will kind of fill in the blanks. I, I've seen so many things, like I've gotten out in the real time zone before, and my room has been like my room but in reverse, you know, like like the door would be over here instead of over here. Or um, the room will be larger, you know, like stretched out. Like I've had so many experiences before, and I don't know, like I would head towards the wall to go outside, right? And the room just keeps stretching out as you go towards the wall, and you're like, "Oh, damn it, stop!" You know, you like you, you can't get like out to it. The room just keeps stretching. You know, I mean, I don't I don't know what the deal with that is. Um, but I mean, you can fly like through doors and everything. You might feel like a little pressure, kind of, I guess, a little bit of resistance um, coming out. Let's say. If, if you you can pop straight out and bypass the the real time zone if you have a lot of momentum built up like if you've raised energy and you're pumped up ready to go and you're kind of rocking fast imagine them flying just fast right you can take off out of your body when it falls asleep you know just fast and you're gone and you're just gonna go black and then all of a sudden your vision's gonna come to you and you're just in some odd weird place that you know, you have no freaking clue where you're at. But, I mean, that's all right, though. You know, I, I've had a lot of, uh, you know, educational fun experiences, you know, just exploring these places, you know. <coughs> it's quite an amazing thing. <coughs> the star field. Um, I come out in the star field when I leave my body through my third eye. And going over that like what I will do is I will take my chakras and I will raise energy and then I'll spin my third eye right and the vortex will spin around you and this is your chakra spinning that, that, that you're seeing here but uh, there are also vortexes that you will see and sometimes these will pop up when you're at a body already and you know, a vortex could just open up and suck you right in. You're flying through this tunnel all of a sudden, you know, and it'll take you into a different astral zone. Like, you could just end up in some odd place, like a, 
a castle or a city or just I mean anywhere I mean I, I don't know you know I don't I don't know how anybody gets around you know non physically you know it's it's kind of kind of tough you know and you could think sometimes like you know and that's why I say get out and act like you mean business because you know in order to get around or get somewhere you have to really demand it you know like if, if you're out some crazy place and you want to go back to earth you know you're just like take me to earth I mean your vision may go black and then you're just kind of stuck in a void area you know you're gonna want to go earth now now take me to earth you know you really gotta be blunt with what you want and say it you know forcefully you know you don't want to be aggressive but you gotta state that intention you know firmly um, but the star field I also perceive it too when let's say a spin out real fast you know usually it, it's dark and you can see like kind of like the stars the lights around you but it's it's really just a buffer zone uh, maybe while your energy is adjusting um, when when your vision actually comes to what it usually does is maybe go black and then everything starts to form around you right that's usually how how I perceive things or you know I'll get out you know and then you know see kinda fuzzy or it looks like something's just strolling in front of your face you know and then you'll call for vision um, but you know just just be blunt about what you want you know my vision is perfect I see clearly now you know but um it's quite an amazing thing when once you get out and and get traveling you know I mean it it really is it, there's a lot of things you can do um, I've never been <clears throat> there's there's so many crazy things too like you can call out for your body and maybe come back and have like a, a false awakening you know like you can come back call out for your body and snap back right and then have the perception that you're getting up and writing down your experience but you never got up I mean this is a really odd thing you know and uh, you know I mean you could be coming back and be in your expended energy body or you could come back and, and since you're laying there tired immediately fall into a dream which maybe continues the experience that you've had right